I think this is the biggest fear of any KDP publisher. You paid quite some money to craft a book or you invest your own time and then the book doesn't sell and you end up losing either your savings or your time. Hi friends, I'm Tiz Coppoli, I am a self-publisher on Amazon KDP. In this video, let's break down the most common reasons why a book is not selling and what you can do to hopefully make it sell. Number one, change title and subtitle. Is the title of your book interesting? Is it SEO optimized? I really believe that the title should be one of the first things you should be focusing on when planning your book. And this is because from the title, it depends how your book will be perceived by potential customers. It can define a target audience and basically you craft the entire book around a particular title. More specifically, I mean, what's the main selling point of the book? What's the benefit of the book? In the past years, keyword stuffing was something that people used to recommend for book titles. And this means literally putting a lot of search terms in the title to make your book ranking organically for those search terms. Well, I think that today placing some keywords strategically in the title is still relevant, but it is way more important to make the title interesting for a real person more than for an algorithm. Because the algorithm has evolved to understand better and better what your book is about. The ranking will definitely improve if the book will sell, and the book will sell if people will find it useful or and interesting. Now, you can edit the title of a Kindle book anytime, but you can't change the title of a paperback or hardcover book. So the only way to change the title of the paperback is to publish it again with a different title and link the new page with the Kindle on Amazon. But I believe that this can have an impact in terms of ranking. Number two, change cover design. Another very common reason why a book doesn't sell is the book cover design. It may not be a catching enough or look not appealing for the customers. And sometimes we can have a subjective opinion and simply think that if we like the cover, then everyone else will like the cover as well. And this may not be the case. Actually, there is a way to understand if this is the case for you. If you are running Amazon ads campaigns on your book, you can literally use the data of the campaigns to understand what the major problem of your book could be. Speaking about the cover design, if the campaign is making impressions but very few clicks, not even sales, just clicks, then the cover design may be the problem indeed, because it means that your book literally appears to the people, but then they don't click it, because perhaps they click on something else or they are not interested in opening the page at all. Luckily, we can change the book cover design anytime from the KDP bookshelf. However, if you change the cover completely, I believe your book might be removed from the expanded distribution channel. Basically, the distributors have their own rules and can decide independently from Amazon to remove your book from their distribution channel if they fear that the experience could be confusing for customers. But if your book never sold, then the risk is very little, I think. Number three, trend surfing. This is not quite easy to see in advance. Basically, trend surfing is when there is a new profitable trend and everybody jumps on the opportunity to make books about it. And it is not a bad thing, actually. Like, having constantly new trends and topics to discuss is what prevents KDP from being totally saturated. But typically, some early books will be very successful, while the vast majority of the following books won't manage to get ranking and sales. Because newer and newer books will be published. Similarly, if we are talking about a recurring trend, like a festivity every year with related gifts, perhaps, like Halloween or something, you may think you are still in time to publish a book and profit from the festivity, but actually your book needs to be live quite some time before the festivity to get the proper momentum. But the bright side is that if you get the timing right and your book will sell well one year, then chances are that the book will sell well again the year after. Number four, A plus content. Do you always craft an A plus content for each new book that you publish? The A plus content is the section that eventually comes with the title from the publisher in your listing page. Well, I think that having a well-designed eye-catching A plus content can be more important than the main description itself. Because if you don't click the read more button, you don't even see the whole description, but just the preview. But let's pretend you just click on a book and simply start scrolling down. Well, there is absolutely no chance that you miss the A plus content because it's a pretty much long section. And if well done, will give you more information about the book in a visual way catching your attention and curiosity. And this is a game changer that can increase the perceived quality of your book 
and therefore your sales significantly. And sometimes publishers just miss the opportunity of adding the A plus section to a book listing because it is actually a bit hidden. To create the A plus content, you need to go to the promote section of your book on KDP and scroll down below the KDP select enrollment and free promo enrollment, and you will find it. Remember that you will need to manually create the A plus content for each book version and marketplace individually because it doesn't carry on automatically between Kindle and paperback or US and UK marketplaces. Number five, search volume. This is quite common as well. The number one requirement for any product to sell is demand. And that means how many people are interested in buying what we are offering. Typically, we can assess the demand looking for older successful books in the same niche. Basically, if they are selling, clearly there is enough demand. But actually, even if a book is selling, we don't know if customers were looking to buy that book on Amazon. Are there blog posts perhaps recommending those books from outside Amazon or YouTube channels or personal blogs or influencers? And since typically we don't have other forms of promotion outside Amazon when we start, we have to rely just on Amazon traffic. And for this reason, it's very important, in my opinion, to look at the effective search volume on the Amazon platform using tools like Helium 10, perhaps. And if you want to see how I use Helium 10 to analyze the search volume of a book that is literally making over $2,000 per day, watch this video here about one of the best cases of trend surfing that I've ever seen. Take care.